Hello, my name is Danny J. Palmer, 315-9910, and this is my presentation for EDUC 6751, Assignment 1. My digital artifact will be the use of podcasts in the classroom. There are additional resources available at the address at the bottom of the screen. Put simply, a podcast is an audio or video program distributed via RSS feeds over the World Wide Web. It can be played across multiple devices, over multiple platforms, and viewed, listened to, or created using a wide variety of programs. Two set examples include Audacity, which is a free, open source audio recording program, and Windows Live Movie Maker, which is part of Microsoft's free Live Essentials pack. There are other, more expensive options out there, but most people have ready access to these, so we'll stick with these in our example. The most popular way of receiving podcasts is via the Apple iTunes Store and Client. This allows for easy syncing with iOS devices such as iPhones, iPads and iPods. There are other programs out there which can be used for downloading podcasts, but the sake of creativity, we'll stick with iTunes. Podcasts are an excellent tool for teachers within the educational setting. Teachers can create podcasts to assist with revision of a subject which can be downloaded by students, has required, and can be heard wherever the student requires it. Podcasts can also be used to demonstrate a particular procedure or resource to the students, allowing for students to replay certain sections or pause where required in order to carry out said instruction. In this example, I have chosen the section of the Know How podcast, hosted by Ayaz Akhtar and Leo Laporte, in which they will be revitalizing an old computer using the Linux operating system. That pretty much takes up all the dust and puts it on a heat sink, <laughs> which makes this thing run very hot. See, this now we're, you're right. We, weren't, we were stuck, so now that was much faster. So now we're going to pick... So is this, this is looking... Okay, this is where we get to pick which storage device, all right. We're going to okay. go with our USB storage device. All right, okay. Let's see what happens. And so since I made this with new UNet boot in, really easy for me to say. So you're getting a boot menu from the USB key at this point. That's right. So it has a bootloader on there. So we're going we're gonna to try Ubuntu without installing. I said I'm going to try. Hit T. I'll hit Tab to go to options. Maybe, yeah, maybe it's hung up again. It could be hanging up again. It's going, yeah, it did. Look, because it's frozen at one second. Well, Boy, you weren't kidding when you said this was a piece of junk computer. It is something else. <laughs> well, let's try it. For students, it can be used within a subject to develop their literacy, media, and technology skills, and to demonstrate how one person can potentially reach millions with just one piece of media. Podcasts can be used to achieve relevant outcomes in the technology mandatory syllabus for years 7 and 8, the information and software technology elective in years 9 and 10, and in the information processes and technology and industrial technology multimedia electives in years 11 and 12. But it's not just in information technology where these skills can be applied. The example I'm showing you now is from the HowStuffWorks.com website which can demonstrate to students a wide variety of skills and subjects showing how things do work. That's it for this presentation. As I've said before, further resources can be found at the, at the address listed at the start of the program. Thank you for your attention and have a nice day.